Hello and welcome, dear viewer, to Sarthi IAS. Stay connected with us. Subscribe to Sarthi IAS and ensure you hit the notification bell to receive regular updates on our informative videos. Dear students and viewer, today, we will be delving into a discussion about reforming India's social security net. Towards the conclusion, we will pose a question related to this topic. If you pay careful attention, you'll find it easy to provide your answer. Let's now begin our exploration of the reforms needed for India's social security net. Reforming India's social security net. This editorial is based on Needed, a well-crafted social security net for all which was published in the Hindu on the 23rd of August 2023. It talks about the issues and challenges faced by the social security policies and possible ways to mitigate them. Around 53% of all of the salaried workforce does not have any social security benefits in India, according to the Periodic Labor Force Survey Annual Report 2021-22, and which has been cited in the media. In effect, this means that such employees have no access to a provident fund, pension, and health care and disability insurance. Only 1.9% of the poorest 20% of India's workforce have access to benefits. Meanwhile, gig workers, or approximately 1.3% of India's active labor force, rarely have access to any social security benefit. India's social security system is also ranked poorly. Mercer CFS ranked India at 40 out of 43 countries in 2021. What is social security? According to International Labor Organization, social security is the protection that a society provides to individuals and households to ensure access to health care and to guarantee income security, particularly in cases of old age, unemployment, sickness, invalidity, work injury, maternity or loss of a breadwinner. Social security policies cover various types of social insurances, such as pension, health insurance, disability benefit, maternity benefit, and gratuity. What are some existing social security policies in India? The Code on Social Security, 2020. This is a comprehensive law that consolidates and simplifies nine previous laws related to social security. It covers employees in both the organized and unorganized sectors, and provides for retirement pension, provident fund, life and disability insurance, healthcare and unemployment benefits, sick pay and leaves, and paid parental leave. The Employees Provident Fund Organization, EPFO. This is a statutory body that administers the Employees Provident Fund Scheme, the Employees Pension Scheme, and the Employees Deposit Linked Insurance Scheme. These schemes provide retirement pension, provident fund, and life and disability insurance to employees in the organized sector. The Employees State Insurance. This is a self-financing social security scheme that provides medical care and cash benefits to employees in case of sickness, maternity, disability, and unemployment. It covers employees in the organized sector who earn less than a certain threshold. The National Pension System, NPS. This is a voluntary, defined contribution pension scheme that allows individuals to save for their retirement. It is open to all citizens of India, including those working in the unorganized sector. It offers multiple investment options and tax benefits. The National Social Assistance Program. The NSAP is a social security and welfare program that provides support to aged persons, widows, disabled persons and bereaved families on death of the primary breadwinner, belonging to below poverty line households. What are the issues and challenges related to social security policies and their implementation? Lack of adequate budgetary allocation. The National Social Security Fund was set up for unorganized sector workers with an initial allocation of just 1,000 crore rupees, which was far below the estimated requirement of over 22,841 crore rupees. This shows that the government has not prioritized social security as a key component of its development agenda and has not allocated sufficient resources to meet the needs of the vulnerable sections of the society. Poor Fund Utilization and Management The funds allocated for social security schemes have not been utilized effectively or efficiently. For example, the CAG audit revealed that 1,927 crore rupees accumulated in the National Social Security Fund since its inception had not been utilized at all. Similarly, the CIS collected for the provision of social security to construction workers in Delhi was poorly utilized with approximately 94% of the money remaining unspent. 
These examples indicate that there are gaps in the fund management and monitoring systems, which result in wastage and underutilization of public money. Corruption and leakage. Another challenge related to social security policies and their implementation is corruption and leakage of funds. In the case of Haryana, where the CAG noted that the direct benefit scheme of the state social justice and empowerment department had seen the transfer of 98.96 crore rupees to the accounts of deceased beneficiaries. This suggests that there are loopholes in the identification and verification of beneficiaries, as well as in the delivery mechanism of social security benefits. Moreover, there are instances of fraud, bribery, nepotism, and political interference in the allocation and distribution of social security funds. Inadequate coverage and benefits. There is also a persistent issue of inadequate coverage and benefits of social security schemes in India. For instance, the contribution by the Centre to Old Age Pension Schemes has stagnated at 200 rupees a month since 2006, which is below the minimum wage per day. Moreover, the eligibility criteria for some of the schemes are very restrictive and exclude many deserving beneficiaries. For example, the National Social Assistance Program focuses on old age poor individuals with no able bodied earners in their household, who are eligible to earn a monthly pension of 75 rupees. This leaves out many poor elderly people who may have some earning members in their household but still face economic hardship and insecurity. Budgetary cuts. The reduction in budgetary allocations for the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act, MGNREGA, suggests a lack of prioritization for social welfare and rural employment generation. Technology and digital divide. Many social security schemes are transitioning to digital platforms for registration and disbursement of benefits. However, a significant portion of the population, particularly in rural areas, may lack access to technology and the internet, creating a digital divide that hampers their participation in these programs. Informal labor sector. Approximately 91%, or around 475 million, of India's workforce works in the informal sector, which often lacks job security, benefits, and access to formal social security programs. What are the steps that can be taken up by India? Universal social security. Expanding EPFO contribution. Government support for vulnerable workers. Digitization and ashram platform. Mandatory social security for employers. Pan-India labor force card. Expanding successful schemes. Addressing specific worker groups. Strengthening existing schemes. Administrative simplification. Raising awareness. What can India learn from other countries? Brazil. Brazil has a comprehensive and generous social security system that covers more than 90% of the population and provides income replacement for workers and their families in various situations. India can learn from Brazil's experience in expanding the coverage and scope of its social security system, as well as implementing reforms to ensure its fiscal sustainability and efficiency. Germany. Germany has a well-developed social security system that is based on the principle of social insurance, where workers and employers contribute to various schemes that provide pensions, health care, unemployment benefits, long-term care, and family allowances. India can learn from Germany's model of social insurance, which is widely accepted and trusted by the public and provides adequate protection and incentives for workers. Singapore. Singapore has a unique social security system that is based on the principle of individual savings, where workers are required to save a portion of their income in a central provident fund that can be used for retirement, housing, health care, and education. Inclusion. There is a need for more robust policy implementation, proper allocation of funds, transparent utilization of resources, and efficient oversight mechanisms. Without addressing these issues, the intended beneficiaries of social security programs may continue to face challenges and inadequate support. The Code on Social Security proposed by the government in 2020 is a positive step towards providing a statutory framework for social security for various categories of workers, including those in the gig economy and informal sectors. Mains question. Question number one. India's social security policies need an overhaul. In this light, discuss the challenges faced by social security schemes and suggest measures to address them. Question number two. How does Periodic Labor Force Survey Annual Report 2021-22 highlight the disparity in social security?
coverage for India's workforce based on statistics and international comparisons? Comment your answers. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, feel free to share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Sarthi IAS. Your support means a lot to us.